Hello everyone, welcome back. It is me, it is Cyber Warrior, the one and only Cyber Warrior founder of Cyber Warrior Studios. And we are back with another amazing episode of Tech Tuesday. That's right, I said it. It is Tech Tuesday. We are back again. And as promised today, we are going to cover MITRE Defend. Last week, we covered MITRE Attack Navigator, which follows the MITRE Attack framework and the way they do things. This week is about Defend, which is all about hardening your systems and how you can go about finding different things. And the nice thing about it is it feeds into a lot of the techniques and tactics used um, by attackers so that when you're going to look at something, if you're looking at why you should do something, it tells you what tactic or what technique it is going to help protect against. So uh, another amazing episode coming at you right now. Now, before we get started, go ahead, smash that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, and if you haven't, I don't know why, maybe you're just finding us, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the alarm bell to get notified anytime we go live or drop a new video. Now, without further ado, we are going to discuss MITRE Defend and what it can do for us as a toll, okay? So MITRE Defend, like I said, is all about hardening, all about defending your systems and protecting your systems. So... A lot of it correlates, and right here it tells you there's 408 different artifacts. A lot of it's going to correlate to the MITRE ATT&CK Navigator or the MITRE ATT&CK Matrix as well. For instance, if we're looking at platform hardening and we want something like local file permissions and we want to know what it can do, we have that right here in front of us. It tells us that restricting that the definition of this is restricting access to a local file by configuring operating system functionality. Now, this countermeasure technique is related to specific digital artifacts. And so we can look at what it restricts. So if we go to local file permissions, restricts directory, we can go there and it'll tell us everything about that countermeasure, about that technique and everything else. If we go back and we come down here, here's the awesome part. This related attack techniques, it actually has all of that stuff in here. So... You know, we can download the Attack Navigator layer and we can, you know, go through and see how to do that. And we went through Attack Navigator last time. So if you didn't catch it, go back to last week's episode where we went over the Attack Navigator and you can see what this is doing. But, you know, this is all about Defend. So why would you use Defend though? What, what does this give you as a company, as a defender, as an organization, as a security person? Well, the beauty of it is, is a lot, a lot of times, it is very, very difficult to remember everything there is that we need to harden. It's very difficult to see if we're missing something. Now, the attack navigator helps us find different techniques that we can protect against. This here shows us different ways we can do things, whether it's hardening, detecting, isolation, deceiving the attacker, or even kicking them out. Okay, And that's the beauty of this, is it's not just hardening. And it's not just, you know, what are the techniques? It's actually how we can do and, and utilize different things. So let's look at detect, right? That's one of the big things that we try to do these days is detecting when someone is in our network and how maybe they may be doing something. So we can look at network traffic community de deviation and what this means to us. So... What this is going to do when you're looking at this and how this works is you're actually analyzing your network traffic. And I can go through and read this or you can go in and read it yourself. But essentially it requires a baseline of what is normal in your network. All right. So if you know what's normal, maybe how much bandwidth goes out at a certain time of day or, you know, throughout a week or a month or whatever the case may be. If you once you get that normal, then what you can do from there is implement some alarm, some toll that will tell you when that 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 normal deviates when it goes up 10% or down 10% or whatever percentage you want to put on it, enough that it'll trigger an alert. And you'll see this with a lot of networking uh, tools that monitor network traffic and monitor bandwidth. It allows you to see that. Now, unfortunately, like they say here, something to consider is you can get false positives. And it does happen because if you're in a dynamic network, if you're using a network that um, you know fluctuates up and down with the bandwidth utilization, then it makes it hard to really tell what's normal. And it makes it hard for any system to really figure out what's normal. So if you are in that type of network where things are always changing, whether you're adding servers or services or you know your bandwidth is all over the place, 
then it, this is something that is going to be very hard for you to do. But if, you're, if your environment's more static, then it makes it easy to really go in there, let a toll run, uh, you know, for say a month to figure out what normal is. Now understand, it cannot find normal in a day. There's, it's just impossible because the, there's ways that your, your data changes and maybe somebody wasn't in the office or maybe, you know, you're working from home or whatever the case may be, that, that data flow is going to fluctuate. So it takes about a month usually, give or take. Sometimes it'll take longer depending on the toll to really figure out what's normal in your environment. So this is something that's best stood up as soon as you're standing up your network. So it's great for newer organizations. For older organizations, it's great to, to start now. I mean, there's no better time than the present to start. Unfortunately, what you will see is if you've already been breached and maybe haven't seen it yet, you're not going to be able to pick up that artifact. You're not going to be able to tell based on this because what that malware or whatever it's doing already um, is doing is it's going to tell this tool this is normal. This is normal traffic. So you do want to make sure your environment is at least clean and try to make sure that you have no breaches yet before you implement something like this. So, and again, it'll go down here and you can look at like man in the middle, uh, malicious link execution. These are the different, um, you know, techniques that something like this would help find. And then, you know, like I said, there's so much you can do here. You can look at isolate, how you can isolate machines and servers and, you know, networks. You can look at how you can deceive, whether that's a honeypot or a honey net or, you know, decoy persona all these different things. So if you are struggling or if you're newer to the defensive side of things and you're really wondering how you, you know, the different methods you can take to either harden your platform or put in detection rules or isolate things or deceive the, the, the attackers or even kick people out of your network, then this is a place that you can go to. And again, the link for this is going to be down in the description. But if you have not seen it yet, this works hand in hand with MITRE ATT&CK. All this links back to their attack techniques. So make sure that if you're using this, you understand what it is relating to, and that'll help you out going forward. So if you haven't seen last week's video about Attack Navigator, please head over and check it out now. And now I know this is a short video, and we're not really, there's not a whole lot, you know, to cover with this. It's a very, very simple tool, simple matrix to use, and again, it'll be in the description below. But I did want to get the time in to show you this so that you can understand exactly what it is. However, without further ado, I do want to say that I do love you all and thank you. We are over 2,000 subscribers. We're working our way up to 3,000. So let's keep that ball rolling and keep growing. If you're looking for ways to support us, please check out in the description below all the ways you can, whether it's buying merchandise from our website, Patreon, buy me a coffee, Cash App, all that stuff is down there. And yes, we do have some awesome merchandise. Also, if you haven't checked out Eric Bellardo Cyber on New Battlefields, you can check the link right up here with that little card, and we will be able to uh, take you there, and you can check out when we go live on Thursdays on his channel. Beyond that, we do go live every Friday, every Friday, for Security Happy Hour. Me and, once again, Cyber Papa Eric Bellardo go live and co-host Security Happy Hour. If you haven't seen Motivation Monday, please head over and check them out. They're short videos to help get you through your week. Now, saying that, please, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead, be so kind, and smash that like button down below. And if you've already done that and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that alarm bell so that you're notified anytime we go live or upload new videos. Now, without further ado, enjoy the rest of your day. And please leave your comments down below. Take care, have a good one, and I will see you all next time.